G'day, Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. Today I'm here with Angela Wade from from Jinko. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Glenn. <laughs> Likewise. Apologies for it being so cold. <laughs> uh, no, this is the bad weather. We cannot control that. <laughs> so Angela uh, is looking after Jinko's uh, move towards batteries and inverters in Australia, and we're going to talk a bit about their new hybrid inverter and their new stackable batteries, which is pretty cool. So um, I've got the data sheet here for the the, the inverter, and it's called the Sun Tank. How did that name come about? Actually, it's the same uh, the same series name as we do it in the Japan market and the Europe market because um, actually Jinko has already have the battery energy storage system products in the Japan market and the Europe market, and they name it as the Sun Tank. And when we want to promote it, the products in the Australian market, I I would like to say, what's the name of that? They say just the same tank is all right. It's 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 like because the Jinko is um uh is doing the solar panels in the past years to get the power from the sun and the the inverter and the battery is to store to store the DC power from the solar panel. So I think tank is a really good really good word for this series actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's it's true. It's basically a storage device from the sun. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Yeah, so the, 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 the sun tank comes in a range of sizes, what, 3 to 6 kilowatts? Yeah, 3 to 6 kilowatts, actually. And, and actually, we are the most popular we will uh, promote it in the Australian market is the 5 kilowatts hybrid inverter because, you know, for the residential use, the 6.6 .6 kilowatts system is the most popular. It's already um, get the market share at around 30% or 40%. So 5 kilowatts and plus the 6.6 .6 kilowatts solar system them is the perfect option for the uh, end users. Yeah. Yes, though, given that this is a hybrid inverter, you're not limited by the CC rule, the 133% rule. So I, I noticed that the, the 5 kilowatt unit can take up to 10 kilowatts of DC power, yeah. which is great. Yeah, it's this question. It's true. There's, yeah. there's no limit once you're DC coupled. Yeah. So you could have, you could have th um, uh, 30 kilowatts of, um, of, of solar on a 5 kilowatt inverter. No problem. No problem. If the yeah. manufacturer yeah. says you can, you yeah. can. Yeah. If you have a battery and you're DC coupled, which you are with a hybrid inverter. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. no problem. Yeah, no problem with that. Yeah, yeah. in fact, I, I would even be saying that um, probably the bigger module, the 6 kilowatt might be more attractive mm. because of that. Because you, you can have more DC power. Oh no, it's the same, still 10 kilowatts. Yes. Yeah. I think the 5 kilowatt limit is more about the utility side, how much you're allowed to connect to the grid. So um, utilities have limits on inverter AC power, they don't care what the DC power is. Yeah. The, the utility only sees the AC power. So they'll go, we approve a five kilowatt um, inverter connection. Um, in many parts of Australia, you, you'll have um, allowable more than that, but not for export. So you might be able to export five kilowatts maximum, but total of 10. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because from the DNSP, the, the, the requirements, the export limit for the, you know, the residential under the 30 kilowatts solar system is also have the uh, 5 kilowatts limit or the 10 kilowatts limit in each state if they have the, you know, the different policy there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in WA it's even smaller too. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's tricky there to get, yeah. get big systems. But um, just coming back to the 5 kilowatt unit, so this, this, this unit has really high DC power. I just love that yeah. so it's, it's a hundred percent more than its AC rating mm. so five ten point six kilowatts ten point six kilowatts yeah recommended yeah. so for module STC yeah because yeah. Uh, that you can see uh, about the uh, maximum PV voltage that we can input is from the 120 watts to 550 watts which means that we can connect a more you know, more panels per string and also the oversized panel into the system, uh, especially for our Jinko panel, the, the Tiger Pro, the N-Type 440 uh, watt solar panels is be will be all right. And the oversized, uh, uh, oversized, uh, the, the, the extra energy from the oversized panel, the power can be stored into our battery. So, you know, <laughs> there is no waste about the DC yeah. power. Yeah, that's the magic of a hybrid inverter. It's DC coupled to the battery, so it can charge the battery and invert AC power at the same time. Yeah. 
So you want lots of solar? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we yeah. want. Yeah, actually. <laughs> so this has got a dual tracker, which which is great. Um, it's got a start voltage 120 volts. So you know, first thing in the morning, it's going to start producing power and a wide uh, tracking range from yeah. 120 to 550. 550. Yeah. yeah. And so this will um, be suitable for systems up to 550 volts maximum. So that's the the peak uh, maximum DC voltage there, 550 volts. Yes. Which is domestic. Mm. That's that's perfect. Um, the the battery side of things now the this sort of battery is um, what well, commonly called a low voltage battery but more technically it's a, a nominal 42 to 59 volts yeah, yeah. but uh, this one is just the for you know the each each battery module yeah is from the uh, let me see the 40, 42 to 51.8 watts is all right yeah, and is we, we have already tested to the internal test from the china factory is it can be perfect for the residential uses no worries about that yeah and it's got a, a charging current of 85 amps mm -hmm. which is 4000 watts yeah and i noticed that it can work with lithium or lead acid yeah so it's actually you don't have to use uh, the jinko battery you could use a generic lead acid battery uh, actually, we have uh, right now we have to use the Jinko battery. Do. Actually, okay. yeah, because the PCS and the battery system is a pack. Actually, uh, gotcha. yeah, mm. yeah, and they'll look great together too. Yes, <laughs> that, that's what we uh, we plan to do. Our goal is to provide the whole system to and one stop uh, service to the end users that you can use the Jinko panels and you can use the Jinko hybrid inverter and also the Jinko battery system. If you have any question, any problem problem in the whole system, you can just uh, call us just uh, in one call and we can solve all the problems for you. Yeah, yeah it, that's a big advantage. I mean, customers um, hate being told, oh, it's not the battery, it's the inverter and the inverter company saying it's not the inverter, it's the battery. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So if you if you use the whole system all, all by Jinko and you just uh, call, I can figure out, oh, it's the, it's the problem for the battery or it's the problem for the inverter, we can solve that as soon as possible. You don't need to waste any other time. Yeah. Great. Uh, so in terms of the unit, we're going to um, get it out of the box and have a look at it in a minute. So we'll wait for that. But yeah. uh, it's it's a very pleasing design with an on-screen display. Um, I, I presume it's got um, some Wi-Fi monitoring as well. Yeah. Yes, we have um, that. You can you can see uh, that on the uh, on the screen that when it's connected to the battery and it uh, also can show the, the the capacity and what the status the inverter is uh, there is the battery there is and also the SOC state of the battery is also because it's built in the BMS system inside and also have the temperature uh, control to enable the um, to monitor the ambient and inside the temperature to be more uniform that to extend also to extend the battery life and improve the battery efficiency yeah that's another reason that you want to use Jinko battery is that close yeah. integration yeah. with the inverter that mm -hmm. it can monitor it uh, yeah. the state of health yeah and ensure that yeah all the, all the uh, the details are being looked after yeah. so let's look at the battery system so mm -hmm. we've got um, a stackable battery module which is becoming a very popular design personally I love them because there's so few cables uh, they plug into each other uh, I actually haven't seen it yet but I've seen the cardboard boxes over there so I presume this is like Lego click click yeah yeah just the click 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 like the logo Lego yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can play it in your Lego outlet so yeah you can get your children to assemble it yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah because we use the modular and the stackable design and it's also a very easy installation for the for the installers because each module is just the 27 kilograms so you can just ah. uh, hold it very very easily even me and can hold that actually yes. yeah yes I like that uh, those hundred kilo batteries I'm not so fond of but uh, 25 kilos sounds great and each module is uh, 2.56 kilowatt hours capacity yeah and you can go up to 25.6 you can have 10 of them yeah because uh, we can just use that maximum 10 units in parallel to reaching the 25.6 kilowatts hour and if you can use so much so 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 many battery you want to install it in your home it is totally it's totally enough for the residential use actually yeah 
Uh, so you can stack them vertically up to 10. Wow. Yeah, but uh, actually we suggest that if you, uh, because there are two installation methods of our battery, the first one is the wall mounting and mm -hmm. the second one is the uh, the floor standing. And for the floor standing, we also provide the customer with a battery base because we cannot to make sure that the floor is uh, is horizontally and we can uh, maybe it's bumpy or an even situation that the battery base can make sure that uh, you can put all the system very stable to next to the wall is it, yeah and for the uh, wall mounting we suggest that no more than four pieces yeah. to be installed because you know the bare level of the wall we cannot put uh, too much weight on the wall actually and for the for the floor standing we suggest to put this more, no more than six pieces yeah in one line and if you to put the 10 unit you want to put the 10 units we suggest to do it in two lines actually yeah all right so you don't have to be in one vertical stack you can join two parallel stacks together yeah. Yeah, right actually, yeah and, and it keeps the height down mm -hmm. also often the inverters above it too so you don't want it up near the ceiling <laughs> so that's, that's great and so they've I'm just looking at the specs here so they've got a charge and discharge current it's uh, symmetrical so 100 amps mm. so uh, wow that's a, that's pretty impressive so what is that a 1c um, charge rate wow Oh, that's the big one, sorry. That's when you've got four yeah, or more. Yeah, the four big one. Yeah, you have to see. Yeah, <laughs> the right. So it's 25 amps per module. Yeah. And once you get to four, it's 100 amps yeah. thereafter. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, and that can get you, um, uh, basically, you've got five kilowatts of DC power that you can supply to your inverter mm -hmm. and up to 25.64 kilowatt hours of storage. Mm -hmm. uh, that should be enough for anyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really love this modularity because not everyone is um, the same customer. Some people require small storage, some require big, and you can just say oh, yeah. one to ten. Yeah, yeah, it's suitable for the customer yeah. customizing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And also, we put it the IP rating is the sixty five, so it's totally uh, waterproof and does the proof that you can install both the indoor and outdoor. Yeah, because in you know in some end users' house, maybe they have to install the battery system in uh, in the car space near the car space, or maybe they want to install it in in their home. Yeah. Is uh, is all suitable for the? It, it's all have the perfect um, performance in 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 different and complex environment. Yeah. Right. Now that's great. So this it's difficult to find a location inside many homes apart from a garage, <laughs> and so outdoors becomes a pretty much the, the default for many battery systems. So yeah. that's not a problem. And the chemistry I see is uh, lithium ferrophosphate, so cobalt free. Yeah, cobalt free. It, it's the most popular material that we use in the battery. Yeah. Actually, yeah, right now. Yeah, it's, it's also to ensure that to provide the excellent safety to the whole system. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. LFP is considered one of the safest chemistries of lithium. Yes. Now, um, you've actually got a, a, a best. Um, sort of whole system basically haven't you now so you've got the the inverter and the batteries in close integration <laughs> and the solar panels yeah. as well it's it's jinko all the way <laughs> yeah that's what jinko want to do because uh you know the customer the customers has already very fami familiar with the jinko solar panels we have the tiger pro we have the the you know the n type solar panels so we're always the leader in the solar panels market but we want to give it give 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 the give the public a surprise that the Jinko also can do the best market yeah and I see in this picture which is the the PV plus energy storage you've got a picture of an electric vehicle charging is that a Jinko solution as well or is that uh, coming just the coming coming yeah oh, just the coming so um, your role at, at Jinko is, is focused on the energy storage side, the best side, mm -hmm. um, and um, Dan, who we just chatted to, is all about the PV. Yeah. Now, uh, when it comes to utility, what happens with battery storage? You're going to be moving into that space too. Uh, yes, we do have the plan because um, we already have some utility pro projects in uh, for the solar solar panels. But actually, what we want to do is to be step by step because we are actually we are a new brand in the you know the inverter market, the battery market. So we want to do it do it step by step to from the residential systems from the five kilo five kilowatts hybrid inverter with the battery and then move to the uh, commercial part from 
from the um, the 30 kilowatts, 50 kilowatts, or 100 kilowatts, and then to move to the utility projects because we already have some commercial uh, projects and the utility projects in other country like in uh, like in China, like in Nigeria, yeah, and we are also have a technical professional team in based in China actually, but they will they will come to Australia two months later. <laughs> yeah. Right. So we, we do have this plan for for the for the best solutions to do the um to do the integrator, to do the solution provider, to also also be the leader in the best market in the future actually, <laughs> in the next few years. Yeah. Right. So it's a it's a growth strategy, start small, get big, learn as you go. Yeah. Uh, build confidence and trust in the brand in the from storage from residential commercial to utility yeah. scale. Mm, oh, yes. That's great. Yeah. Still still have a lot to learn actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited to see the products. Why don't we get them out of the box and have a look at them? Yeah, that's that would be great. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Let's do that. Yeah. Well, Angela, yeah. Uh, this is the Sun Tank. Yeah, that's the real one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it's a it's a very nice looking unit. Um, so some of the things I'd look at as an installer is uh, so it comes with a mounting bracket, I presume. Ah, uh, yeah, we also have the mounting bracket, but it's not here actually. <laughs> so we can screw a bracket to the wall, but it also can be hung off some screws. I yeah. see. So you can actually position some bolts or screws on the wall yeah, that's and hang right. it directly to the wall. Mm. So it gives you that flexibility. Yeah. Um, does the installer need to open the cover and to install anything, or is it all done from the bottom? Uh, maybe we can look a little further down on the well, bottom because um, there are some communication port here, and yep. uh, including the DC, uh, the DC port, the AC grid port, and also the EPS load port. And we also get some communication port that can be communicated with our ba battery system. Yeah. Right. So the BMS communication. Yeah. And uh, you've got uh, battery ports for DC. You've got yeah. two MPPTs for the PV. Yeah. Uh, you've got your grid AC port and your, uh, you've got a backup port? Yeah, we also get the EPS backup port here. Yeah, because uh, actually there is a contactor inbuilt in this hybrid inverter and usually it's connected to the AC grid port and can, can supply the power from the grid, from the, uh, the, 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 the solar systems to the grid and to do the multi-directional energy exchange. But uh, if the grid is lost, it can be automatically turned to the EPS load port and the turn on the backup mode. So the end users can choose some uh, essential e electrical appliances in their home, like the air conditioner, like the TV, like the fridge, that if the load, uh, if the grid is lost, that they will continue to operate under the backup mode, yeah. That's great, so built-in transfer switch, you don't need another yeah. box. Yeah. Yeah, and I like the fact that you emphasize essential loads. I mean, uh, sometimes customers get a bit excited. They think, I've got a battery, I've got backup, I'll just back up the whole house. But you still have to realize the limitations of a unit. I mean, it's a big inverter, but five kilowatts of total power. In backup, it's... Uh, uh, in backup, it's the 4,000. 4,000 yeah. watts or 4,000 VA, to be technically correct, is not the whole house. So you've got to be careful about what you put on the backup circuit. Um, when when the grid's available, though, the backup circuit's still available, isn't it? Yeah, it's so you still can leave available. it. You don't yeah. have to have a transfer or switch over. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's automatically a switch, and the switch time between the upgrade and the grid connected is uh, no more than fifteen milliseconds. The, um, the so the battery units are connected via um, uh, plugs directly into this unit, so we don't have to wire up any cables inside the unit, do we? It's all connecting down here. Yeah, just connecting down here is all right. For the battery, it should be in uh, this part, right? Yep. <laughs> I didn't feel that. And we also to uh, supply the Wi-Fi dongle, the Wi-Fi connection that we uh, have the Jinko Energy uh, solar, solar app to monitor the real-time data from your solar system, from your battery, and the, what you can, uh, the conception from the, from the grid. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very convenient, yeah. So, so this is a very popular uh, mode of, of adding Wi-Fi. It's, yeah. it's, it's got a, a USB, USB interface, USB interface yeah. yeah. 
and has a little status light, but also the QR code is what you use with your phone and the app yeah. uh, to, to identify the unit. Yeah, you can just scan the QR code and then download the, the, the app directly from the Google Shop or from the Apple Store, it's all right. So it does yeah. both, Google and yeah. Apple. I, I love the use of QR codes. It just makes life so easy. Really, as an installer, you just have a phone on you, got internet connection, uh, point the app at the QR code and bingo. <laughs> it will take you to the app store if you need it or the uh, play, play store. Um, yeah, so this is really great. So we've got, got this on the wall. Um, now we want to look at the batteries we connect to it. Yeah. So where do we do that next? Yeah, okay, let's do the battery part. Okay, yeah. great. Well, Angela, here it is. Here's the battery module. Yeah, is that surprising? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's a very nice looking unit. Now, it's sitting on a little plinth. This, this is just to keep it off the ground and level it? Yes, actually this is the battery base because we have to make sure the flow to avoid the situation of the bumpy or the uneven. So to make sure the whole system, the whole battery system is stable to stand on the floor. So we use the battery base when you choose the installation methods of the floor standing. Yeah. So let me just uh, have a move here. So this unit, if I get up, that's the that's the base there. Yeah. And each module goes on top of it, on top of the base here. Yeah. We use the modular and stackable design. You can easily to hold it and just uh, yeah put here and click. Click. Yeah. Shall we put another one on? Huh? Yeah. For us. I'll help you. It's a bit heavy. Yeah. Twenty eight kilos. Okay. Right. Now we have two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can up to like the 10 units actually in parallel reaching the 25.6 kilowatt hour. But for the floor standing to use the battery base, we recommend it to use no more than six pieces of the battery module because of the weight situation, the safety situation. Right. Yeah. Now you did say that these can be wall mounted instead of on a plinth. We've got the brackets down there. Do you want to show us the bracket? Actually, this is the wall, wall bracket that when you do the installation of the wall mounting, you can just uh, to, you know, to screw it and hang on the, on, the, on the wall and it can be totally over here. So, so this is the spacer? Yeah. Automatically gets the right distance apart? Yes, right. and it can be hold, you, you can just uh, hang on the battery on the, on the wall, wall bracket and it uh, can be hang on the wall, it's so, all right. So a maximum of four? Maximum of four, no more than four pieces. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so around the back here is the part that it will clip onto, which the viewers can't see at the moment, but uh, that's how it would attach. Yes. So it's a very flexible uh, combination. It could be ground mounted, it could be indoors or outdoors, it could be wall mounted from one module to a 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very suitable for customer to be the uh, customizing to choose how many battery they want to use based on their, you know, the electricity consumption and to choose how many units they want to use in their home. Yeah. Now, when it comes to connecting these electrically, it's done through the side panel on the, on the end there and we have some interconnecting cables. Yeah, we so can just uh, use the screws to, to screw it up and it can be open. So we have three cables. Yeah, we have the three cables here. I just moved it. In. Uh, for this one is the positive uh, positive cable and this one is the negative cable for the battery and for this one is the linking and link out to connect uh, to connect the each battery module in parallel and also there is a um, should be a port of the PCS port and we have the communication cable to use here to communicate with the, our hybrid inverter and also there is a SOC uh, LED LED light here to show the SOC status. That's how many, uh, how much capacity uh, of the battery charge or discharge. Oh right, so yeah. you get you get an actual um, state of charge reading on the battery. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. So the topmost battery module connects to the, the hybrid hybrid inverter, inverter yeah. via communication cable, and, yeah. and these small cables it's just to communicate between battery module and battery yes. module. Yes. Yes. They have the two point link in and the link out. You can just uh, connect it together. It's all right. Yeah. Now these, I like these connectors because they've got a little um, locking mechanism too, <laughs> so that you kind of like can't accidentally pull them off. And they're color coded, so uh, yeah, it makes it very simple to install. Yeah. 
So with four of these connected, that's 100 amps uh, that you're passing up to the inverter um, uh, and it can put out five kilowatts. Yes. If you only have one battery module, you're power limited, aren't you, to one module? Uh, we don't have to. Uh, we don't have to do that. Just the communication with the with the, uh, between the battery and the hybrid inverter is all right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess what I'm saying is, can you start small and add? Can you start with one battery module? Yeah, we can start from the one battery and up to the 10 battery. It's right. all right. Yeah, because a lot of people will be, you know, realizing that they could do with more storage. In <laughs> fact, a friend of mine recently got a battery system installed. He only got one battery module, and then six weeks later, he went, I needed two. So he just gets another one. And that's <laughs> a great feature of the stackable design. Yeah. I mean, of course, it's electrical work. Your, your, your installer will have to come back, but really, uh, you, you keep the existing unit and just add another one on top. Mm. Great, I'm loving it. And such a nice um, weight factor, lifting, is it 28? 27 kilograms. 27 kilograms, yeah. two people is, is perfectly safe, easy to manage uh, and transport. So yeah, I'm liking all those things. Thank you, thanks for your life. Okay. Yeah. But lastly, I just want to say one thing about the look of this unit. It's 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 amazing how, you know, I, I've been in this industry 30 years, batteries were ugly, dangerous, smelly, horrible things that were in a shed. Now they're becoming like beautiful space age creations. Um, this just is a really aesthetically nice looking unit. Yeah. And uh, this, the design factor has become a major point for the customer because they want something that looks good. You know, it's not sitting out in the back shed, it's on the side of their house, it might be at their front door as people arrive. Um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying the, the, the modern aesthetic of these units. Yes, that's what we want to do. We just, uh, uh, we don't want to uh, do the battery system, uh, including the PCS, the hybrid inverter, like the, you know, the, the tools in your home. Uh, also, we want to do it a uh, decoration in your garage or your home is all right, yeah. Yeah, great. Well, I'm looking forward to installing one of these one day. Mm, yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank okay. you, Glenn. Yeah.